arrived at the car park at Sherbrooke Forest, just about to head to the uh, waterfall, and uh, I've seen a little wallaby here. So we're going to see a bit of wildlife. So this is a little wallaby. There are a lot of lyrebirds around here as well too, so we may be seeing some lyrebirds as we get uh, a little bit deeper in the forest. Um, possibly the, the odd echidna, uh, and maybe a wombat, but there are a lot of wallabies, and there are a lot of... Um, Lyre birds around here. And this one looks quite, quite tame. Let's see how close we can get. I'm not going to hurt you, little fella. So there is a lot of wildlife that you can get and see around these tracks here. And they're quite tame, as you can see, because they're quite used to seeing a lot of humans. Oh, I startled him, and off he goes. Anyway, more to come. Hopefully, we've already seen a, a little wallaby. That was a wallaby. It wasn't a kangaroo. Wallabies are a smaller version of a kangaroo. We've already seen a wallaby here today, but uh, hopefully we're going to be able to see a lyrebird, because I've tracked this trek a lot, and I've seen a few lyrebirds along here. So... I'm gonna see whether we, we, we can see one. And if not, if I don't, I'm gonna see whether we can go and find one. I'm gonna walk out to one of these, uh, some of the less walked tracks and see whether we can get to see a beautiful lyrebird. Um, the reason why they're called a lyrebird as well too is because they can mimic many other sounds of other animals. Um, that's why. And also there, there's a beautiful little, little, little bird down there if you can see it flying around there. Beautiful little robin with a with a uh, a yellow crest, a yellow chest that just ate a worm. Um, they're called a lyre bird because they can mimic uh, many other bird sounds, uh, but also they've got beautiful feathers out the back that look like a harp. Uh, so they sort of come around one way, come around the other way, and they're sort of like nearly sort of peacock feathers in the middle, but fine peacock feathers in the middle. But we're going to see whether we can see a lyrebird. Now, a lyrebird was as well too on one of our coins, and I'm pretty sure it used to be on our... Don't quote me. I think it was the five cent piece. I think it still is on the five cent piece. Um, and because I don't use coins that much, and you can see where lyrebirds have been because they've been digging around here looking for insects through here. So there's been some lyrebirds around here digging. It's just a matter of finding them. I just want to video this amazing moss. It very much looks like sort of Southern American swamp here. But uh, yeah, we're in Australia, just out, out in the bush. And uh, yeah, absolutely amazing here. Two live birds, guys, right in front of us. Right, that's, they're making those noises there. So we've found them. You can hear them, you can see them right on the track, right in front of me. So two little live birds, and they're speaking to each other. It's a pair. There's one that's probably about 10 metres in front of me. And the other one's out in the distance. I could hear them over them before. Let's see whether I can get a little bit closer. So you can hear these live birds. As I said before, they're actually imitating kookaburras and they're imitating all of the other birds. And they're right on the track there. I'm going to see what other sounds they make. But it was really interesting that they were making a kookaburra sound. I'm getting bit by mosquitoes here. But it's absolutely fantastic. It's great that we've found two of them. Oh, look at its feathers. Amazing. Just fantastic, both of them. They haven't even noticed me here. They put their feathers out, as I said, their feathers are very much like peacocks. There's a pair of them, two of them there. This is absolutely great, guys. I'm so happy with this. I've come down this track just because of it. And it's amazing that they're putting their feathers out like that as well, too. So. other noises.
just amazing. It's great to see that the feathers are out. If you're on YouTube, guys, try to, try to uh, if you can, pan in. other noises of other birds that imitate other birds that's why they call the lyre bird you can see it's outstretched feathers there About the size of a turkey, now they've spotted me and they've gone to take off into the bush. But you can see here, I can hear them to the left, they're out here somewhere. But they were just displaying right here and they've taken off into the bush now. There they are, right there. Now they're not that tame, so they're not going to hang around, they're not like the wallabies. But they are out in the bush there. Still see them. You see that one putting its tail up there? I don't want to venture too far into the bush. Look at that, that's amazing. That's perfect live bird footage right there. Wow, that was absolutely really, really worth it. And that's what you can see here, just a short drive out of Melbourne. Hi guys, this is the live bird's feather. It's quite, as you can see, it's quite soft and down-like. Um, I just found it as I was trekking through here. Um, just wanted to share. Hi guys, uh, this is just some roadkill. And this is a, a wombat, a male wombat. Now he would probably weigh in vicinity of 30 to 40 kilos. He's got a big X on him so that people actually don't hit him on the side of the road here. Um, you can see he's got really soft pads. There's a lot of flies that are into him. There's a lot of maggots coming out of him. You can see his soft paws and big claws that he goes and goes and digs with. Probably don't want to see this. He's sort of decomposing from this side. But he's quite large and he's smelling. And this is the most beautiful place to come for a walk. It's quiet. The air is so fresh. There's just nature everywhere. There's birds chirping. It's actually a live bird, I think. It is. There's a live bird down there, down next to the creek. He's in the water. I'm gonna flip my camera around. But he's down there in the in the water there having a drink. You can see him moving. The branch might just be in the way. He's just behind that branch. But he's having a beautiful scene. That's why he's called a live bird. Might break out into a, a kookaburra.
Anyway, leaving that beautiful lyre bird behind. Oh, look, there's a beautiful red parrot here. Can you see that beautiful red parrot there? It's a rosella. Let me see if we can go backwards and get him. Not catch him, but get a bit of view of him. Just over my shoulder here. Beautiful. He's a rosella. Oh. I'm not watching where I'm going. I hope there's not a step behind me. Oh, and off he goes. Anyway, let's keep on going. We've been really lucky with the fauna here today. Uh, particularly to get that, that footage of those lyre birds. But uh, I'm going to keep on going until I, unless I find some other fauna here. But as you can see, the steps are just made out of concrete. Um, and I'm sort of double stepping to get through here a little bit quicker. So it's made of concrete and stone. And yeah, it's beautiful. But I can see that there's been a lot of trees that have fallen down. But it's still absolutely amazing here. Lots of wildlife. And some parrots behind me up here on that limb over there. There's some parrots right there. That's what we're beautiful. Off they go. Okay, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed uh, the day with me today. And uh, please leave uh, some comments uh, if you if you agree with anything, disagree with anything. If you enjoyed it, um, click like and subscribe to get both all of our other videos. And uh, much love. Thank you very much for watching.